So now we've done several experiments exploring children's ability to use their approximate number systems to solve for x in algebra-like problems before they start to encounter formal algebra in school. And we've also explored children's developing abilities to map this approximate sense of number onto a discrete exact number by, say, producing a number word that corresponds to their gut level sense. So this really helps us understand children's ability to reason algebraically really before they start encountering that formal math in school. So now in task three, we'll explore children's ability to not just infer the quantity in a hidden variable, but to actually manipulate those variables. So for example, when children know that Gator's Magic Cup added approximately 12 to a pile of things, can they also deduce that two magic cups together, two of Gator's magic cups, make 24 total. So can they combine their gut level approximate sense of the variables that are involved in these non-symbolic algebra-like problems? So that's what we're going to be interested in in task three. So for task three, you can put away your magic cups. Just to keep things simple, we're going to use a worksheet. So for this task, you'll have two worksheets. But let's just look at the first one. So when you show this worksheet to your child, you can say, now we're going to play another estimation game. You don't have to count to do this game. And the reason for that is, again, we want to emphasize that children can just use their gut sense of number, their approximate number system, to do the task. They don't have to count. So what you'll first do is draw kids' attention to the left side of the page and say, here are some triangles. The magic cup added some more. And now look at the triangles. Then draw their attention to the right side of the page. You can say, now see this? Here are some magic cups, and here are some triangles. Which do you think is more? Now if you printed this page, you can ask your child to circle the one they think is more. If you are looking at it on a computer screen, you can just have them point and make sure you record their response on your um, extra piece of paper. So you can keep doing that for all of the problems on this page. So here are some smiley faces. The magic cup came and added some more. And now look at the smiley faces. Then again, draw their attention over here and say, now see this? Here are some magic cups. And here are some smiley faces. Which do you think is more? So keep doing that for the entire page. On the next page, you'll see a really similar setup here. So very similar, but instead of objects, we'll have actual digits. So for this task, again, draw their attention to the left side and say, here is a number. The magic cup added some more. And now look at the number. Then again, draw their attention over here and say, now see this? Here are some magic cups. And here is a number. Which do you think is more? And so on, all the way down the page. Now, at the end, just like we always do, ask kids about their strategies that they used for solving the problems. Did they think that one set was easier than another? Why did they think that? Did they have trouble with one versus another, and why? 